So here at Old Swamp Apiary, um, we, we've been staying home a lot, so we're trying to get creative with our honeycomb. Um, probably one of the most common questions we get asked um, as beekeepers is what do you do with honeycomb or what is it? Um, how can I eat it? If I buy it, then what? So we thought we'd talk about it a little bit. Um, it's probably our favorite way to um, harvest and use honey. So um, here uh, is an example of a plain old chunk of honeycomb that came from our bees. This was one from last year. See, it's got that nice color. And basically what it is, is um, a chunk of comb straight out of the hive. Um, the bees have built the cells, filled them with honey, and then capped them with this wax here. And um, you just cut it out of, the, out of the hive in chunks or out of the comb in chunks. This is a Ross Round, um, another uh, type of honeycomb we make here at the apiary. And this one, the bees build in a circular um, uh, plastic frame and then you um, when you harvest them you just put lids on and a label and there you go and that one is nice and light you see uh, like this pale lemon color if you cut into the cells um, this came from this year and then our bees also they got a little wild on us they got a little uh, creative and so they uh, they built this in one of them so you can see they basically overflowed it um, packed it really full it's quite tasty and we're going to use this guy uh, first thing we're going to do is basic fruit salad. Um, this is one of my favorite ways to do honeycomb. So, super easy, like the easiest thing ever. Cantaloupe. You can really use any fruit you like, honestly. Um, I think I'll put some strawberries and peaches in here. And some blackberries from the back field. Got our fruit in the bowl, easy enough. Now, to get the honeycomb into the act, I'm actually going to lift a chunk out of this and set it to the side on its own plate so that we can cut it up nice and small. Um, some people don't really like the taste of the wax um, when they eat it, but we've found that if you cut it really thin and you sprinkle it, um, or spread it on what you are using it with that you really don't notice much at all. So let's cut ourselves a piece out here. Ooh, that's nice and pale. Okay, so we're just going to, let's just lift off the extra that they did. Mm, check that out, look at that. Put this on our separate plate. going to be plenty for what I want to do here. All right, so I've got my chunk here. And let's just slice it nice and thin, all right? Nice and thin. See those cells just kind of make a little pop when you cut them? Each one of those cells, a bee worked very hard to fill with honey and cap off. And uh, one of the reasons that we harvest a very small percentage of what our bees actually make each year, we leave them quite a lot um, for themselves um, to get them through the winter. But, but we take some. All right, so this is so simple. I'm just gonna take these, I've already cut them into chunks. And I'm just going to spread it out over my fruit salad here. Now, if I were doing this for, for company or for a party, I would probably take more care with making them nice and uniform, the same size. Um, but right now, hey, it's cooking in the time of COVID and I'm just here myself in the kitchen at night, so I'll do it however I want. Okay. And yeah, I'm always gonna lick that plate a little. Okay. That is literally it. Hear that? Stir it around a bit. I find that this wax, or the beeswax, pretty much disappears 
into all the other flavors. Um, I'm using nice soft fruits for this one. Mm, so good. So our next um, impromptu recipe, um, if you um, grew up in the Northeast like I did, um, you remember apples and cheddar cheese or uh, apple pie with cheddar cheese. Um, I like to pair them with honeycomb as well. So again, super basic. Got apple slices here. And this time I'm actually going to take the honeycomb and put it directly on my cheese slices. And then kind of just use it to stick it to the apple. You know, really thin slice here. Again, we don't want a huge mouthful of wax, so I'm just cut a little bit off. I'm just going to stick them together with the honeycomb. Easy as that. There we go. Stick them together. Nope, broke that one in half. <laughs> That's what the honeycomb's for. All right, there we go. And now you can you can do it in you can do your apples in rings. You can do everything in little small squares. You could even put everything together on a toothpick if you like, or you can just eat it. All right, and last up for today we have a pretty boring looking muffin. Um, my husband, whom um, usually is the one you see in our videos here at the apiary, um, has taken up baking, uh, like many others right now. Um, and we've had a lot of muffins. Um, so this is a strawberry muffin. Um, it works really well to do honeycomb on the, on the fruit muffins, but then also um, savory muffins like sweet potato uh, uh, also taste really nice with it. So on one side, or first, we're going to take some Amish butter that we let soften for a while. And then we'll put the honeycomb right on top of that. I find it's best to put the butter on first, um, to put the honeycomb on first and then try to spread the butter on top of it. It makes rather a mess, so we'll just that there. Not that I ever really win any awards for neatness in the kitchen, but it tastes good. All right, there you go. And just a little slice of the comb is all you need. And how can you go wrong with that? Um, so thanks for stopping by today. Um, we'll probably be spending more time in the kitchen, probably mostly at night. Just thinking of new ways to use our honey in our honeycomb, so uh, feel free to stop by. Um, if you get insomnia like I do, it might be late at night, that's cool. Um, we're always here. The bees are here doing their thing. So uh, stay safe out there, y'all, and keep enjoying honey. Thanks for stopping by.